Hi everyone, it's another hot day. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a table from the Doom pile that I paid £5 for and giving it a new look. Because of the heat, I just want a straightforward project. So we're going to be working on this wooden table. I picked this piece up for just £5 at my local thrift store. It's not a particularly well-made piece, it's a modern reproduction made out of some sort of Indian style wood, but it's got a real good look and I think it's got a real statement about it. It wasn't in the best of condition, so it was dying for a makeover. It's really bright. I feel like I look a sweaty mess. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give the table a good clean with some glass cleaner. This is my favourite thing to use because it normally leaves a streak-free and a clean degreased surface to paint on. That's going to be dry in 30 seconds. For today's project, I'm actually going to be using Fernie paint again. I'm using the colour Black Knight, my favourite black. It's a true black. Um, uh, this is left over from that industrial metal cabinet I did the other day. I'll include a link to that up above, so if you want to go and check out that episode, you can. As always, if you want to support us and you'd like to get hold of the paint and products that we use in today's episode, head over to 81vintage.co.uk where you can see all of the items we have available including the main star of today's episode, which is our stencils. But first things first, we need to go and find a really nice, good quality biro pen. So Mike keeps all the best quality pens in his drawer in the front room, so let's go and see if we can pinch one. So, the... Ooh. We'll try that one. If not, I'm coming back for that one. So move around to the back garden actually because it's a lot shadier. I never really thought to uh, film around here, probably because we fitted these slabs ourselves and we've never done the grouting in between. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the stencil as a glorified paint by numbers and we're going to use the pen to just draw inside the stencil design to fill up the top of this table. This is based on something antique called marquetry, so what they used to do is inlay different pieces of wood to create a pattern. So we're going to be doing something similar, but without the skill or the effort. These boys appreciate being outside, but they do like the sun, little Spanish boys. Are you talking, Tic Tac? Are you talking? So it's probably going to be quite difficult to see, but I have put the outline of the bigger bird on one side, and then I'm going to put the smaller bird on this side. So the tip of your pen can get build up on it, so occasionally you probably just want to clean it off and that's just the varnish coming off. So I've put both birds on there now, they're filling up the space quite nicely, but what I'm going to do is use the, between the two sizes of stencils, I'm going to just fill in the remaining areas um, so that it's really really full of pattern and design. So almost immediately it turned out the surface that I was trying to paint on was just too slick and I was going to have to do far too many coats. I only wanted to do one or possibly two coats so I gave it a quick sand. This actually showed up the pen a lot easier so it was a lot easier to paint in and fill in those details. Then using two nice quality paint brushes I went round and just filled in all of the areas in the negative space leaving behind the pattern that I'd actually drawn out. and. It 
didn't actually take that long. It was a really nice, pleasant job to do, just listening to some music and chilling out in the garden. I also think this would be a fantastic little thing to do if you're like me and a little bit restless of an evening and need something to do whilst watching TV. This is the type of thing that I could quite happily do whilst keeping one eye on what's happening on the telly. This is after about 20 minutes. It didn't really take that long. Something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me Something brand new You said this is something You would never do Here we are in a car Let me see who you are Who you really are oh, yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry Once the top was dry, it was time to focus on the base. I didn't want to paint all of it because this wood colour was quite nice and I thought it would tie in quite well with the top to leave some of it exposed. So I painted around some of the more decorative details on the bottom just to create a two-tone effect. Have you just come to help? Have you just come to help? You just can't do this bit because you've got no fingers. Excuse me, off you go. Then all that was left was to seal up the piece. I'm using the Fernie Paint Satin Sealer for this and I'm using it in a spray gun which I don't normally do but I decided that because I'm going to be sealing so many pieces I might as well set it up. I watered down the paint to help it go through my spray gun which you don't always have to do but because it was so hot it helped and you can really see on the top here the difference between the unsealed and sealed paint. It really makes it much more vibrant and finishes it off nice. You see my forehead absolutely dripping and I've only spray sealed this piece. That's all I've done in between. And this is the final result. Oh look at blending. I hope you like the final result. This is how it came out. I think it looks really good and I think it's worth far more than the five pounds I initially paid. Let me know down in the comments what you would sell this for and whether you're tempted to give this technique a try. Also, if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to hit that like button and also make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can catch up on the five videos a week that I post. As always, if you want to get hold of the paint and products that we used in today's episode, you can head over to 81vintage.co.uk to pick them up. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode.